Hey everyone, it's Benjamin here and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make this fantastic design inside of Canva. So if you're ready, let's jump into Canva and let's get started. So this design is actually going to be a very simple one. So let's dive into Canva like I mentioned. Okay, so if you can see this, then you can know that this is a very simple design and I actually made two samples of it and it's actually very easy. So the first thing we are going to do is to click on add a page for me and for you, you just have to use the dimension 1080 by 1350. Okay, so come on to photos and in photos, we are just going to search for smoke. Okay, so we search for smoke and you can see there's so many interesting things over here so i select this one and i'm just going to you know arrange it here beautifully very nice and very easy and simple the next thing we would have to do is um i would go into my upload i have this nice triangle or arrow um in my canva this is it but to be able to get it you would have to go to elements.theafricangeeks.com and search for dynamic arrow and then once you find it just download it and upload it into your canva then you can continue with this particular tutorial so once you come into canva i'm sure from the elements website um this would already have a removed background but um in my case i'm just going to come into edit image and i'm going to click on bg remover so that i can remove the background of this element so i also want to use this opportunity to recommend canva pro to you so just in case you're looking at having more than in canva when it comes to removing the background images of your image when it comes to um, publishing directly from canva to any social media platforms when it comes to adding the brand kit of your client inside of canva and also when it comes to resizing your canva designs to any dimension at all with a click canva pro helps you with that so if you are interested in this i have a special link in the description box below that can help you to get canva pro for free for 30 days and the other thing i want to recommend to you is the assorted canva templates i made for you and these are 20 easy to edit templates and i think five carousel and 15 poster templates you can use right off the bat so check out the link in the description box below okay so back to our design i am just going to rotate this this way okay and i'll drop it here for the meantime come back into your photos and in photos we are just going to search for moto okay rider okay and there are so many options you would get you can see so many interesting options but this is the one i use and i think i also want to stick with it so i select my image come to edit image and select bg remover for it again and if you're on the free version of canva you can use um, websites like Onsplash or Pixels to be able to find related images like that. So that's the alternate website you can use if you are on Canva Pro. Okay, and now our image, you know, we have the background removed. So I click on apply and the only thing I'm just going to make sure is my design gets saved. So now that my design is saved and um, what I'm going to do is I'll just trim my image in a way that, you know, I would feel comfortable with. So I would you know make it this way and i actually want this much rider to be the main point of attraction so i will increase the size of him you know i think it's too big right now so i reduce it a little bit okay and i'll just drop it here so you can see what we have at the moment so this should go it's already at the back let me just send this to the back and this to the back again so that we can have something like this okay so i would rotate my arrow like this and i'll make it bigger a little bit and i'll just drop it down over here okay then duplicate it okay then we are just going to rotate it to how it was already which is negative 90 okay then i'll duplicate it again and position this over here i'll select the two of them group them okay by using ctrl g okay you can reduce the size a little bit and have it here then we'll duplicate by using ctrl d okay then we rotate it again to negative 180 degrees and i'll just try to create something interesting like this so i would reduce the size a little bit okay and i would position it here and maybe i will just send this up a little bit okay and i'll bring also this in front and you understand okay so maybe let's increase the size more of this then we position it here so you can see what we've been able to create and if you look at it that's what we did so even in the initial one what i did was i cropped my image okay so i just select crop it and make it much much bigger you can see everything 
about this was covered so that's what we can also do over here okay then um this is cool so now we would want to work on the smoke image so select it come to edit image in edit image choose dual tone okay for it and in dual tone we would have so many options to choose from okay so like i said we have so many options we just choose any of them and i'll just choose the cherry and it should apply on my image and i'll click on it again and we have this so the highlight is going to work on the brighter part of the image and the shadow is going to work on the darker part of the image so i select this okay and i choose the red okay so that the smoke itself should be red then with the shadow which is the background of it we are going to choose black okay so that we come so that we can have something like this so i right click and send it to the back but it wouldn't go immediately because the design isn't saved at the moment okay so now the next thing we are going to do is actually having to wait for the design to get saved okay so it looks like my design is saved i right click again send it to the back and this and this should go behind the motor rider okay then i will duplicate this and i would rotate it this way okay position it here and duplicate it again and rotate it this way okay and position it here but what we are going to do is we are going to actually blur these ones out so you come to adjust and you increase the blurriness of it okay so 37 we do the same for this okay so 37 oh i thought it was <laughs> okay so 37 how come nothing is working 37 okay so yeah this is it right now okay so then after you finish what did i even do okay so after you finish with this we are just going to duplicate this one okay and we would rotate it this way so negative 180 and i would want to actually make it bigger okay and position it here and send it to the back okay so that we can have something like this so i would maybe select these two and drop it down a little bit more so that we can you know have something clean like this now the next thing we are going to do is to add our text and you can see i reduced the transparency of this so let me just reduce it to something like 47 which is cool okay and press t on your keyboard to add some text so i just want to say adrenaline a g r e no what did i even say arena prime okay so i'll just put the same thing arena okay prime and we'll just send it to the top black on black isn't working so we are going to change the color to white okay then we will just position it you know in the center right here press l on your keyboard for line and you would want to position it at the top select the other edge holding shift and prolong the line okay so this is what we have at the moment duplicate the line and drop it down here a little bit okay then we would hold shift and send this in okay then duplicate it again and position it somewhere here okay so that we can have space over here to add some extra text okay so we press t on our keyboard again and i'm going to use a secondary font so in my case i would go for just regular okay but you can go for any other font of your choice and i'll just say extreme so e x t r e m e okay so that's what we have at the moment i would reduce the size and position it somewhere here okay so i think it's still too much select it reduce it more all right and i'll select what's behind drop it by two inches or two i don't know uh -huh. so that we can drop these lines as well okay so that it will look as if it's in the center okay so now let's see okay i'm positioning my text and this is what i have but the other thing i did was i added the gradient shadow so what you can do is you can go to the element website again and search for gradient shadow but i'm going to actually pick it up from here okay and i'll paste it here okay then i will just send it to the back okay back 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 it should be behind the motor rider okay so that we can have something smooth like this and to make my text interesting all i just did was i selected the a okay and i made the color red because there are so many reds in here and having this red text made it look interesting the text is looking longer than what we have but first of all let me center this okay and um maybe what we can do there are two things we can do 
we can make sure the text is fitting into this borderline we have and this line as well or we can just extend the, you know these two lines okay so any of them is fine but because we have all of this fitting inside the borderline i'll just reduce everything to fit okay then we can also choose this okay fit and come here and make it fit so you can see this is what we have and i believe this was something very easy to create even though at the end of the day you get to have something professional like this so yes i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i hope you know the steps were easy to follow let me know in the comment section what you think about this and um, just in case you also love this you know to support the video try to hit on the like button subscribe if you want more canva tutorials like this the name is benjamin don't forget i'll see you in my next video <laughs>